All right, in this recording, I uh, just wanted to show you guys how uh, I kind of came up with this uh, face. First of all, uh, some of the things I did was I uh, got some in images off uh, Pinterest uh, front and side. And I think I've actually used this uh, person before in the past. I tried to find a female front and side, but I couldn't find any off uh, the internet. Again, these are scrapped off the internet for educational purposes only. So one of the things uh, you do is make sure you have the width and the height the same. Uh, that way, when you bring these into, save these as JPEGs, when you bring them to Maya, they have the one-to-one -one ratio, which is really important for uh, this. Uh, one of the things I did, uh, to show you really quickly, uh, could have done this in ZBrush to bring on the front and side view, uh, to use the move tool and position it around to pull. Uh, and sculpt it a little bit with the move tool, but I wanted to show you how to do that in uh, Maya also. So in Maya, if we go to uh, X-Ray, uh, you can kind of see uh, how I kind of sculpted the head. We're gonna go to the side view, show off the grid. Again, I don't expect you guys to probably watch all this, but just kind of get you the silhouette. Now the mouth and the front and side don't always line up, so I'm kind of Doing a happy medium, the nose is obviously not 100% right, uh, but the, the silhouette of the head is totally different from where this started. So in ZBrush, you can see uh, his head is very blocky, very uh, probably hyper-masculine looking, and uh, a lot of the silhouette of the head is totally different. So you can see I sculpted it uh, pretty hard, pushing this in, and also pulling out the chin, uh, nose and the profile was totally different. So uh, using images is very helpful to kind of start getting you uh, where you want to go with uh, your character's face. So I pulled in uh, the neckline. It was a lot uh, thinner here. Uh, the jawline and the lips, you can see uh, where the lips are uh, kind of pulled up a little high here. Uh, and the nose is kind of a happy medium. Again, these are not perfect photos. They're not perfectly lined up. So we're just kind of doing a happy medium. But again, we're trying to get that silhouette. Now you notice in the center here is basically the uh, mouth palette. We won't be working with that, but that just came with this model. Uh, don't uh, be freaked out about it. It's just uh, uh, our model. So the ears are definitely pulled way out. Uh, gave them a little bit of life to them. All right, so if uh, you're ever interested, this is the way we did it. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to show is uh, using symmetry. So it's really important that we have symmetry in this model. And then, so we have on the world X axis on. So when I pull uh, something and sculpt it, that is there. I also have soft select on. So when you grab a vertices, it kind of grabs that area. So I was using uh, four, two, and one on this. So if I type in four, you can see the range gets bigger and bigger. All right, again, this is about maybe 20 minutes of sculpting in uh, Maya. Uh, I deleted the rest of the body when I export out of uh, ZBrush to give me something to uh, work with. And we're gonna go to X-ray, turn that off. All right, so I'm gonna turn off uh, the images. I'm gonna go ahead and do an increment save. I don't expect you guys to go into Maya, but I just wanted to show you this in class, what I did. So we turn off the images. Uh, he definitely looks unique. Uh, don't get too carried away with it. Uh, if you wanted to really keep pushing it, uh, definitely wanna have your references up here and start working with the silhouette uh, if you wanted to just like stick with the side view, which is really good data uh, versus a side view or the front view is important. So uh, they're really hard to line up, uh, especially with the warping of the lens. When you go to the front view, it does some really weird stuff when you're working with uh, cameras and lenses. All right, again, we're not gonna go too far with this. Again, this is where it all started. Uh, this is a kind of a soft modern class, so typically, uh, you guys should know how to model uh, the topography for a face where you start off with loops around the eyes 
and slowly build it up and loops around the mouth and onward. All right, so I've saved this and we're gonna export this out and you guys are probably gonna start from uh, these two kind of merged together. We'll do a group split uh, in ZBrush in just a second, but that'll be the second tutorial.